Hello everyone, welcome back to the Twisted Rides Gaming YouTube channel, and on today's episode we're going to be doing something really fun with this pile of parts here, uh, and we're also going to be using the ramp truck. There's going to be a lot in this episode, so stick around till the end, and you guys are going to love what I'm going to do with this huge pile of parts here. So, and we're also going to be checking that out, but that won't be until later, because I am going to have to paint this car, even though it won't be pretty. Um, this here is a future project, uh, this will probably be the next episode, so, uh, Definitely stick around for that. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to RPM Games again. Uh, he's a huge supporter of my channel, and he's also been doing the uh, My Garage Long Drive Challenge, so definitely go check him out. Uh, he has videos of my garage, model car building, and he also has his own unique uh, cinematic uh, videos using a mixed mosh of models and video games. So let's get right into it here. Oh yeah, ramp truck is still solid. I'm driving with keyboard now, so I should be okay. What's wrong with my tire? That's weird, I've never seen that before. Is my tire... I guess I didn't exactly fix them, I just kinda... I just kinda dusted this thing out of the junkyard and drove it. <laughs> so, there's another reason why I am picking up a car down here, and you guys might remember it from an older episode uh, where I was testing the new uh, crash dynamics. Crash, ah, the damage model. But uh, this car's literally been sitting down here since then, and I haven't touched it at all. <clears throat> so, let me rip, whip around here. Now, I'm trying to get everything cleared out down here for a certain reason. Some of you might know what it is already, but if not, definitely stick around. I might build that F100 down here. Uh, like I said, you guys are going to have to come back and see exactly what I'm going to do with that. All right, let me get it lined up here. So it is going to be a laggy one today. So as you can see here, uh, this thing really took a beating. Uh, I think the only good parts on it are the doors and the roof. Maybe the rear differential. My tires are popped, but that's fine. Leaf springs. Oh, man. <laughs> Out of all the junkyard parts I grabbed, I never grabbed the uh, the innards for the trunk, but that is fine. Uh, we're not... Um, you know, maybe I don't even need it, you know, where I'm, where I'm, oh no, I, I need the gas tank, never mind, I do need it. So, let's see here, uh, can I, oh, no, give me the, there we go. How far can I go with this? Can I go all the way out here with it? There's a tow hook here somewhere, at least I think there is. Uh, it might be a little tweaked, but, uh, <clears throat> oh, come on, you goofy thing. Oh, wait, hang on, I saw the check mark. Wow, whenever your engine block's sticking out of your radiator, you know you've really done something. Uh, whoa, holy crap. Okay, I think we are okay. My uh, my grandfather, uh, back in the 1950s, he had a 1940-something Kaiser, which was in the Ford family. And uh, he rear-ended someone so hard, uh, the engine came through the firewall and the transmission came through the floor. Because back then, they didn't have uh, transmission mounts like they do on cars nowadays. They kind of just hung on from the front of the engine block and the rear of the engine block. So, yeah, not a fun ride. Wrecked a really good car. As a matter of fact, I don't even know what the car looks like. I might throw a picture up of what I think it might be. Um, fortunately, he's no longer with us, so I can't ask him uh, what exactly it was. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, man, lots of good stories uh, from him. Uh, very interesting life he lived. <laughs> that is for sure. Okay, come on, you goofy thing. Um, a lot of them are laughable. Uh, some are kind of disturbing. Uh, he was actually, it's kind of fitting. He was a tow truck driver for 50 years. Uh, very well known in uh, in our area where we live. I guess I need to take the parking brake off, huh? Well, hey, something in this car still works, huh? <clears throat> okay, now it should move. Um... Yeah, lots of interesting stuff. I I can't re I couldn't possibly remember them all. There's there's so many, um, but uh, it was always a good time whenever we we went over to Grandma and Grandpa's house, uh, which was when I was a kid. That was like a a weekly thing. We went over there like every Saturday. Um, <laughs> and that's kind of the funny thing. Uh, that's whenever my mom was still driving her Camaro. She drove that car for 15 years. Uh. And then I wasn't driving yet, so my dad started driving it back and forth to work, and then uh, I finished it off in high school. 
And uh, it spent most of its life sitting because uh, well, I'm a bit of an imbecile and I keep destroying it. But, hey, what can you do? I was a young gearhead and, uh, and I drove the crap out of it and had a really powerful engine, at least I thought so. All 160 horsepower Chevrolet claimed it had. Um, enter to sit. Ah. Okay, so now it shouldn't go anywhere. <clears throat> so I should be able to unhook this. And the car shouldn't go anywhere. Okay. Good, it didn't go anywhere. Alright, so now we need to haul this thing back up to the top and we can start ripping it apart because this thing is an absolute mess. As a matter of fact, I don't even know how I'm going to get it off the truck. But Actually, I think it still runs and drives. Let me double check here. Ooh, steering column shot, but that's fine. <laughs> it still runs. I have a bad cylinder head, but that's fine. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of engine work to this thing uh, while we have it uh, apart. Because, <clears throat> you know, we can't just leave it a regular Challenger. You know, we're going to be doing something a uh, little fun with it. As a matter of fact, that's why I brought up RPM Games. Um, and I know you're watching this, brother. So, um, not over here, but way over there off in the distance. You can't, uh, you can't zoom in this game like other ones. But, uh... When I was watching his uh, one of his videos, he's got three parts out now, I believe, on his uh, island excursion. And <clears throat> on one of the parts, I thought he made it to... Well, here, let me show you on the map. This thing's doing goofy stuff. Here on the, here on the map, <clears throat> I think he went this way, and I thought he was over here, but he was actually, like, over here. Um, this is a mostly unexplored part of the island, just because, well, there's really no way to get around so the vehicle I'm building today is going to be able to tackle that because believe it or not there's way more island here off the map that you can't see um, don't ask me how I know that but I know it's there so my goal even though I took the uh, vanishing point challenger I'm sorry I'm yelling over the, the truck I explored pretty much all of this and all of this over here except this road I couldn't get to that one and I don't think I explored that one either that's fine. I'm okay with that. But I think I went... I think I went this way around. I never got to all this. So, what I want to do is I kind of want to hit some of this stuff over here. And I want to explore this part of the island. So, this vehicle is going to be for that. But that's probably not going to be until a little bit farther down the road. And don't worry. I'm going to be doing the general leave for a live stream here sometime this month of April. Probably sometime in the middle of the month. Stay tuned uh, for an update on that. <clears throat> So, let's haul this thing back up to the shop. Get off. You're not going to behave, are you? Okay, I didn't think so. Um, I don't know why I'm on a kick with my grandpa now, now that some memories are coming back. Um, believe it or not, my, uh, my grandfather was actually the first individual to ever drive a Mustang on pavement in, this, in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, he worked for uh, the Lincoln Mercury plant uh, out there uh, in St. Louis, and... Uh, I mean, this is one way to do it, I guess. Um, and uh, I guess, I don't know how he wound up uh, getting wrapped up in it, but he actually, uh, they asked him to go down to the rail yard and drive the the cars off the train for the auto show for, like, the cars to come. So I, this must have been, like, January of 64, because Mustangs didn't actually come out. They weren't publicly available until, like, mid-year of 1964, and uh, he wound up driving the first one off the train. He said it was like a, it was kind of like that pale yellow color they had. Uh, and he said it had it well the, the they all had six cylinders in them in sixty four and a half I think. Don't quote me on that. There's someone out there that knows better than me. And uh, whether there's actual truth to, to that or not, it might have been one of the ones off the train. But from what he told me, he drove the very first one off the train in St. Louis, which was really cool. <clears throat> So it's a little piece of uh, of automotive history there. Uh, there's no picture of it, but <laughs> but uh, I actually built a 118th scale model replica. You know, the best I could for like you know a 10 year old could, which it was not. Uh, it wasn't that pale yellow color. It was more like a school bus yellow. <laughs> but that was the best I could do with what I had. It was actually a, a kit that I bought. Um, like, it came in primer, I think, and you had to sand it down and paint it yourself. It was really neat. But uh, I, th I think it was a convertible kit, But I and I had to steal the roof off of, like, an American graffiti car, I think. I didn't touch that. Oh, come on. 
<clears throat> okay, so I think my floor pans are okay, but my front end here is completely gacked. So we've got to go deep on this thing to get it right. Hey, my rocker panels are okay. That's a plus, right? Uh, I'm actually replacing the doors, too, because there's a certain patina I want on this car that uh, is going to match the aesthetic. You guys will see whenever I get a little farther with my build here uh, what I have in mind. Well, obviously, I mentioned it's going to be an off-road vehicle, so if that's not a if that's not a hint, I don't know what will be. Uh, I mean, it, it's in the title, not the picture, but the words, you know. Well, hey, the battery's good. <clears throat> I don't know why this thing turned over really slow. So I have a bad cylinder head. Ah, bad starter. There it is. So if I if all I have is a bad starter, I'm not going to worry too too much <clears throat> about this thing. Come on, get under there. There we go. I mean, y'all remember how much fun I had last time with the. Uh, or no, wait, that was my live stream with the lot of I was chasing that thing all over the rack. Yeah, fun times. Yeah, fun times. Um, I do miss you guys being able to tell me where my, my wrench is. Will you not? Come on. Go. Go. There we go. Holy crap, finally. <clears throat> Whew, okay. All right, off the ground. Whoop, close. 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 Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, wow, I don't know where to start. I guess I need to cut the front end off, like, away from <laughs> from here. Uh, I might pull the motor just to get it out of the way. Uh, where's my toolbox? Okay. I have the wrench in my hand. My goal is to not do that, but I'm going to bring the whole toolbox down here. So that way I have no excuses. It's right here. It's right here in the toolbox. Where's my screwdriver? Oh, no. I can't work without my screwdriver. That's right. It'll turn up whenever uh, I don't need it. But I don't need it right now, so now whatever. Um, so, anywho. Oh, come on. There we go. So, oh, hey, the transmission's good in here. So, that will be staying because that's going to match. Uh, believe it or not, I'm basing this off of a real-life build, which if you've seen the, the thumbnail, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know what it is by now. Oop, the ignition coil's bad. Off with you. We can replace that later. Hey, the distributor is good. The engine block is good, which is a good thing. We will be using that later. Oh, yeah, check out these sick wheels. These are the, the new ones uh, in the game. But those aren't for this car. No, nope. these are for this car. You guys are going to love what I'm going to do with this thing. <clears throat> Alrighty then. So, let's see here. Um, leave a comment down below. How is everyone doing? I, uh, I haven't asked in a while. I've been... Been really wrapped up. I am filmed ahead on a few other videos, so uh, don't worry, I will get those out. Um, a few a a few Apex Point videos, uh, a couple Beam and Drive videos. I know they aren't my most popular ones. I get it, but I can't just play my garage. I have to play other games. Like, <laughs> I will run out of stuff to do on this game. Uh, you know, yeah, just definitely. I kind of like Vice Grip Garage, uh, which I'm a huge fan of his. Uh, Oh darn it! Quit! I hate how it does that. I know I'm, I know I'm not the only one that this happens to. Okay, that was weird. It sounded like someone was knocking on my door. Um, it's probably loose tree branches uh falling on my uh my roof. We had a really bad storm go through last night. Um, I don't know where all my viewers are from, but if you're from, well, hell, it hit pretty much, um, like the whole mid, like mid eastern uh, United States. Uh, if you're from one of those areas and you had to go through that storm last night. Um, hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know you're you're doing all right, because it was it, it was a doozy of a storm, you know. I have to admit, it was it was not good. Uh, but uh, anywho, I was talking about Vice Grip Garage. He's had a lot of complaints. I don't know what I just loosened. Um, he's had a lot of complaints that oh, you're not doing you know your your regular content. You know, we want the revivals. You know, kind of like what I do in spirit of that, where I like go out and. I have no idea. Oh, that's part of the radiator, I guess. Um, I do things kind of in spirit of uh, Vice Grip Garage, where I kind of uh, trek out somewhere and I and I bring a car back. Um, but you know, I can't always do just my garage. I, I have to play other games eventually. Like, uh, you know, I might have to play Valheim at some point, or um, or you know, scary games. You know, Halloween. You know, I, of course, I'll try to keep it car themed, but you know, that's not always going to, you know, be the case for me. I have to do other stuff. Screw the battery. It's staying in the car. Um, so, 
yeah, that's just that's just kind of what I'm gonna have to do. You know, it's 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 not like I'm trying to torture my viewers, but I am trying to <clears throat> attract other viewers. You know, for other stuff. Uh, which my my garage viewers, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. Um, you know, helping me get this far with my with my channel. This channel wouldn't even be here uh, if it wasn't for uh, for you, the viewers. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely grateful <clears throat> for uh, for that. Wait, um, I'm trying to get the motor out. That's what I was originally trying to do. Okay, no fuel line. Like I forget every time. <clears throat> That's got to be it, right? Oh, and the ground strap. Yep, got that. And, oh, hey, look, it's easy to get to. It's right there. Save that for later. All right, now the engine should come out, maybe. See, right here, this the, this screw. That screw, I was trying to click on the wrong one the whole time. Okay, now the engine should come out. Should. Should come out. Oh, now what's holding you in here? Come on, I let y'all loose. Oh, now it'll come out. Okay. So this engine is still good, but we are going to be doing some work to it here in a little bit. So let me <clears throat> go ahead and take this off of here. All right. Um, intake manifold will be changing. Uh, camshaft, rocker arms. Uh, man, I really wish this engine stand was just a hair shorter. You know, like the valve covers being like down here, but I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Um... Uh, during my live streams, I've, I had a lot of people ask me, you know, like, oh, what, you know, my favorite car is, or this, that, and the other. And uh, in real life, uh, now there's a lot of cars I like, but in a video game, there's something that video games don't have, and that's uh, Camaros. And I know they have some Camaros, like, uh, um, oh, let's see here, like Car Mechanic Simulator, they have uh, first, second, fourth, and I think maybe a fifth gen Camaro. Of course, no third gen Camaro. No, of course not. Why would they do that? <laughs> but uh, that's one of my biggest things. I wish someone out there had a third gen Camaro and not not the IROC, please, for love of God, not the IROC. I hate IROCs with a passion because that's the one that everyone wants. Like I had a, a coworker, and this is about ten years ago. Uh, this coworker of mine, um, he hates Mustangs, and the reason why is because. That's the car everyone wants. Yeah, he'd much rather have a Mercury Cougar, which that'd be a really cool car to have in a video game also. Um, here, I'll, I'll just take it off this end. I'll just take that off, and and I'll just take that off, and, and I'll take this off. and I'm just trying to get it off, off the car, you know? That's all I'm trying to do. Um, take that off. Take that off. I'm just trying to, like, zip it all off in one piece, you know, like, oh, okay, well, there's the the spindle and the brake, wait, you know what, I might be able to reuse that brake, if I can, why can't I pick this up, huh, oh, come on, quit being a pain, all right, uh, brakes I need to reuse, because I don't think I bought any, I'm trying to save a little bit of money, <clears throat> you know, I don't have too much of that or anything, okay, zip all these off, um, a while back, I was trying not to, like, uh, kind of overdo my videos. Like, I was trying to, like, really chop them down because of, uh, you know, time and stuff. But now I feel like all I want to do is more. Like, I just I just want to talk more and more. And uh, and it's not to bore anybody. I just, I feel like that, uh, you know, I'm cutting out too much. Like, I'm, I'm not really sharing with you guys who I really am, you know, if, if that makes any sense. Like... You know, it's, I really don't know where I'm going with this. I need to find something else to talk about, if you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think, nope, hang on, come on. It literally came off of here, or is it, oh, I've got it backwards. That's fine. Um, let's see here, I need the brakes off at of this side if they're not chewed up. Zip, 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 zip. <clears throat> Man, I hope I have time to, to do the rest of all the activities I want to do in this episode. Oop, that one's bad. Uh, stupid gnat, go away. Let's see here, I need 
need that to come off, need that to come off, and this to come off. Okay, now that's the break for this side. Are the pads good? Oh, brand and new. Well, that's a good thing. Okay, so... Tighten that up. <clears throat> good, now I just need the brake for this side. So I don't need the hub assembly. You know, I could actually put these parts on the... Uh, oh, come on, pick it up. I can put these parts on that Challenger because I think my front hubs and uh, spindles are bad uh, on that particular car. Where... I need you. I choose you. Not you. You. There we go. Um, there's actually some more shelves down at the junkyard. I really need to go down there and uh, and pick those up um, to add them to uh, my shop here. Come on. Get on there. There we go. <clears throat> um, if my voice seems a little bit different, uh, it's because uh, my throat still hurts. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know why it hurts. It's only on one side. It, I'm not sick, so I don't know what what that's all about. So it's it's really weird. Not too too crazy worried about it. it just it's just weird is all. Um, let's see here. Put the brakes on. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Don't the brakes need to go opposite of the the steering knuckle? But that's just me. Um. Ah, the steering rack. This needs to go on. Does this snap on here, or does that need to go up in the chassis? I think that goes up in the chassis, so not much I can do about that. Wow. I wish I could just cut the welds back here and back here and just pull the whole uh, front clip off in one piece. I'm unable to do that, but I am going to paraphrase, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to... Wow. The front end is almost touching the master cylinder. That is really, really impressive. I need a grinding wheel. There we go. So I'm going to start with the front. Hey, look at all the conveniently placed welds right there for me. Okay. You know, I should have done this one as a live stream just because of how kind of in-depth it is. But, oh well. We're going to do that with the General Lee because that thing, uh, I really tore it up really good. Now, this cross member doesn't look that bad at all, but it could be tweaked uh, as, as bad as I had this thing wrecked, so... We're just going to start fresh and new. Okay. Hey, the radiator hoses are still good. Maybe maybe I'll put those back to good use. Maybe. So we'll just... Wow, that's a mess. So we'll just stick that there for right now. This needs to go outside for the moment. Wow, I ripped everything off of there, didn't I? <clears throat> Alright, outside. Is that... I guess that's a good shock. Maybe we'll reuse that. You know, good, decent parts. Okay, now I need to cut off my frame rails. Which, oh, for the love of God. What? Really? I did it already? Oh, how does this keep happening to me? I literally just had it in my hand. Oh, I said it. Put it back on the tool bench. Huh, <laughs> how about that? Imagine that. All right. Enough screwing around. Okay, so I need to cut that off. This, and I believe, yep, there's one back there and that should just plop out of there <clears throat> okay so I need that one this one and that one hey that one shot off why didn't the other one come off no that's part of the firewall or, or is it this guy here or is that part of the floor now will you come off oh, okay so I missed a weld there that's funny I don't remember that weld on the other side but Okay, so, we have the front clip off of here. Um, I might as well put a new starter on here while I'm thinking of it and I can get to it easily. Um, I guess all the wires are good. <laughs> um, where's... That's a wrench. It's not my wrench, but it is a wrench. How'd you get down there? My goodness. Folks, what's sad is, is I'm just as bad at this in real life. Even though I have a tool cart like two feet away from me at all times, I still lose my wrench. Oh, it's for the wrench. I was like, that doesn't go in there. Do I have a spare starter anywhere? 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 Bueller? Bueller? I don't have a starter. I'm going to go buy me a starter real quick. <clears throat> okay, we are good. I got a new starter here. Which... 
Do I need to get new wires for this? Because that's not exactly where they belong. So I don't know if I'm going to have to replace those or not. I mean, they're wires. They they shouldn't exactly have a damage model, if you know what I mean. But I still want to make sure that they're good. Um, yeah, see, there's that knocking again. I think it's stuff hitting the roof of my house. Which, wait. Yep, no, my wires are bad. And I do not know how to remove them. Yeah, that's that's weird. How come these haven't come out? Uh Yeah, why won't you guys come out? <laughs> I've literally removed everything that you attach to. Well, they're not brown, so I guess they're good. So we're just going to leave that for now, I guess. All right, so now I need to get my springs out and then we can move forward. Oh, here's my toolbox. Still missing a screwdriver. All right, pull that out. Because we're putting something a little spicy in here. Okay, I don't know how, but it wind up all the way over here on the other side of the uh, Vanishing Point Challenger. Wow, so uh, this car already looks a lot longer than it was. Wow, what a long nose this thing has. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, so I need to find my welder. <clears throat> Actually, wait, don't I have a new core support? I think I do. Somewhere in this pile. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> so... Uh, in real life, uh, if one were to do this, they would actually have these uh, these really cool like spring-loaded clips that would like go in uh, in drilled holes to help hold it all together. And obviously, you throw a tape measure on it, make sure it's all good and straight, and then you'd zip it all together. It's a really neat process. Uh, if you uh, if you ever like find a video of it on YouTube, it's really neat stuff. Okay, so question. I've always wondered if you could just weld the front clip together and not the back half and if it'd fall off or not. Yeah, see? The back welds aren't even welded. So if I put this back... Yeah, it says it's attached to the car now, so... <clears throat> so I don't know. Now I need to watch my gas because uh, even though I have a lot of uh, weld here, it... Uh, um. Yeah, I need to find a way to replace those battery cables because that's really going to be a drag. Especially if I can't find my bolts. Hopefully they float over the battery, you know, for me, like, correctly. I wish they would just coil up and fall off, but uh, they're looks like they really want to stay. Yeah, there should be nothing holding this in here. They should have fallen out with the... Uh, um, yeah, they should have fallen out with the uh, the engine whenever I took it out. That's weird. So, let me go ahead and try to remove these again. Um, I'm sure it's a bug because I crashed this car so horribly. Yeah, that's... I don't know what's what's going on there. <laughs> Alright, well, I do have the battery, so I'll click the battery in here if I can f find it. Ah, here it is. So, I'm going to click this in here and see... Oh, I need a battery tray, don't I? Yep, I sure do. Well, another trip to the magazine. All right, now I got the battery tray in. I had a battery. Oh, there it is. Oh, I forgot I already pre-installed shocks on here, which is really handy. Uh, and, of course, my battery cables are all out of whack. So if I tighten this, it does not fix itself. So that's just going to have to do for now. We're going to have to just deal with Bluetooth uh, battery cables because I don't know why these are all cattywampus. Um, that's fine, I guess. We'll make do. Just as long as it starts and runs, that's all that matters, right? Okay, so I have this in. I think I need... Yep, time for the cross member. Just snap you in. Bingo. <clears throat> See, I love the whole streamlined process here. It makes it go so much smooth and easier. Almost kind of like a uh, My Garage assembly line. Now I can tighten that. I can actually squeeze in here, tighten this, brake line, already tight. Now we got to do everything on this side. Yep, got that, got this, that, and I need to get the cross member bolts. Yep. And, yep. All right, so that is now installed. Um, engine is not ready yet. I do need to take care of something with that. I'm going to yank the doors off because we are putting different doors on here with a patina to it. Okay, doors, uh, roof needs a little little touch up. The quarters need to come off. The f back floor needs to come out. Uh, I need my cutting wheel. 
which has no disc on it. Of course not. <clears throat> oh, come on. Okay, so. I, oh, there's the grinder. See, this is why I miss the live streams already, because you guys can tell me where I'm setting my crap down. Yeah, super helpful, super handy. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the rear tubs, but probably don't need those where we're going. Yeah, just cut everything off here. We don't need it where we're going. I need to bring the whole disc thing over here because we're going to need it. <clears throat> need it for all of it. But, hey, once I get that welder up and going, man, we'll just zip right on through all of this stuff like butter. Oh, yeah, zip that off. Zip this, zip that. All of this should just fall right off now. Matter of fact, I don't... Uh, the trunk panel can stay, but the trunk lid needs to come off. I guess that needs to go, this needs to go, and I'm out of discs. And I... Oop, I have one left. Oh, two left. Well, that's even better. Uh, the trunk pan fell off. I think, I think that inner, inner tub is all right. That should be okay. <clears throat> now this fender should come off. There we go. I'm not really too worried about the inner structure of the car. Uh, it's kind of an off-road car anyway. Uh, man, I wish we had cut fenders for this one like we did the Lada. That's really going to match what I'm going to do here. Oh, yeah, this center fender's fine. Might need a little, little touch with the hammer, but other than that, it should be okay. Trunk floor needs to come out. Which, I know I'm going to have to uh, use the hammer on that. Alright, I got that welder ready. Alright, the floor should come out. If not, yep, it didn't come out. All right, yep, these are trashed. Alright, this goes out in the junk pile now. See, this used to be a Challenger, but now we, we just have this shell here. Hey, now it looks like a Pinno. <laughs> or, uh, didn't, uh... No, Dodge had their own little car. Wasn't it like a... No, AMC was the Pacer. Uh, AMC was the Gremlin. Dodge had their own version of this. I just can't remember what it is. Oop, I got a little bit left on here. I need... Oh, really? Was that hiding on me this whole time? Now it should... There we go. Oh, man, them rear frame rails are hammered. Uh, Guess what I didn't buy? <laughs> I didn't buy rear frame rails at all. We might need those where we're going... So I don't know if I can just unbolt the leaf springs and just install it. So let me try cutting out. Um, is that a weld right? It is. I don't know to what, but oh, it's for this middle brace, which is. That's fine. Um, yeah, the whole rear end might be coming out of this thing. Wasn't my ideal, but. Oh come on. Come on. I just need I just need to cut that right right there. There we go. Okay, yeah, cut this one. That one. Is there one on the other side or I can't see one. Perhaps it's in the fender well. Yep, there's one in the fender well. Uh oh. I'm not gonna have enough to finish this. And damn it, yep, I need more. By the way, um I still am being proactive on getting my uh, my Discord up and going, so um, for those of you who are waiting for it, I'm sorry, I am trying with it, uh, um, my time is very limited to, uh, to mess around with things like that. Um, also, I, I haven't even started yet, but I do plan on starting another YouTube channel here soon. I actually, too, and, uh, I actually have a certain philosophy on a couple things, and one is, uh, anything's YouTube worthy as long as you film it. So it's things I'm going to do anyway. I just need to, to film all of it uh, realistically. Um, so it's uh, it's not like I'm doing anything extra. The only thing extra I'm doing is just stopping and talking while I do it. Um, so trust me, it's I'm not inconveniencing myself too too much to to bring you guys uh, cool awesome stuff. Um, but uh, I actually can't wait to uh, start showing you guys what I've. Not what I've been up to, what I'm going to be doing, uh, if that makes sense. Oh, I guess I didn't need to do that part. Um, I do need to fix that, I guess. I guess let me grab the hammer while I can get to it and 
give it a couple love taps, yank the glass out. Front windshield can stay, I guess. Um, well, crap. Where's, uh, that's not what I need. Oh, I need the hammer. There we go. Oh. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how shoved in that was. Holy cow. That's bad. Holy crap. That's really bad. Well, my parts should fit a lot better. <laughs> wow. And the glass contoured with it, that's unbelievable. Can I actually... Oh, wow. I was not expecting that to come around. If I'm, if I'm being honest. I wonder what else is tweaked on this thing. Like, the firewall's fine. My floorboards are fine. The inner panels are fine. Yeah, the rest of the car is, is golden. Alright, so put that somewhere where I won't find it later. Okay, that was weird. I didn't even touch it. I just breezed by it and it decided to go somewhere on its own. Uh, welder, here we go. So, let's see here, zip that in. Yeah. Zip that one in. Uh, I need my trunk floor now, I believe. Which, oh yeah, I do need it for the fuel tank. I was going to say, I'm just going to leave it out if it's going to be a race car, but uh, unfortunately I do need it for uh, um, gas tank stuff. Did I ever, I never put leaf springs back in here. That's fine. I'll get to it in a minute. <laughs> Son of a... Did I... That shows I have gas. Am I out of welding wire? I can't tell if I'm out of welding wire or if I'm out of gas. Okay. Uh, I don't know where my spare tank is. Let me look around a little bit. Um... Uh, well, let me take my tank and get it refilled real quick and see if that's the problem. I could have swore I had another one around here somewhere. Nope, no clue where that went. Okay, can I weld again? I can, okay, so good. I was just out of gas. Just put some beans back in it and good to go. Um, that doesn't need to be welded. <clears throat> okay, so... I think I'm ready for the quarter panels. Or I can... Yeah, I need the quarter panels before I put the tail section back on. Where's... Oh, my... Ah, here we go. Here's my quarter panel. I wish we need to get rid of that chrome on there. We don't need chrome where we're going. That's for darn sure. Um, Alright. Burn that in. This car is going to be so goofy looking between the dirty panels and not dirty panels. It's not even funny. That's why I'm replacing the doors and everything because I wanted all the dirt to match. And and trust me, it'll it, it'll match the car. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we got that. Um, I don't need a back seat where I'm going, so that can come out. All right, hey, look, more burnout tires. Um, what a finish to my live stream, though. Uh, not to boast, but uh, I did such a burnout, my front tires popped. Or at least one of them did. <laughs> I don't know how, but uh, I did a reverse 180. and Or no, I did a... Uh, I think I was rolling forwards, and I went to slam it in reverse or something like that, and I wound up... It just made this humongous bang sound. And I was like, what the hell was that? And sure enough, I look, and my... Front tire blew out. I don't know how, but that's uh, that's how that cookie crumbled. All right, get rid of the trim. Trim. Man, these chrome pieces in real life are ridiculously expensive. Like, hundreds of dollars a piece, you know, kind of expensive. It's, it's really silly how much they ask for these silly things. Of course, I haven't put a single tool back in any of my toolboxes. Oh, I need this. <clears throat> Hey, easy access. All right, take that out. Remove this. Hey, a good headliner. We can probably put this in the Black Ghost uh, if it needs it. I don't remember if it needed it or not. Ah, looking better already. I need to take the rear glass out of here, I guess. Which I don't know where the screw is for that. It's right there. Okay, out with you. I don't think the other side has glass in it. 
All right, now I need to finish burning in my tail panels here, which I have a trunk lid. I guess this piece needs to go in first. If I can find a way to put the top piece in without this piece, I'm going to do that for, you know, ground clearance stuff. Uh, that's for the F100. I did grab that tail panel, did I not? Is it out here, maybe? No. Uh-oh. Did I... Did I not grab that? I could have swore I did. No, not the rain. No, go away. Darn it. <clears throat> Maybe I kicked it somewhere. Alright. Um, I'm gonna take a nappy nap and, uh... Get rid of this darn rain. Alright, so, took a little bit of a nap here. I wound up having to buy one of these. I have no clue where the one I had went. This will not install, so I have to do it. Unfortunately, I have to do it this way. Wish I didn't have to, but that's the way the game wants it. Okay, those are on. I need to weld them in. It'd be interesting if, like, welds would break and uh, pieces would fall off. I'm not saying that's what the game should do. I'm just... Like, I don't know. Like, you know, pieces, like, just tearing and ripping off. I don't know. But I kind of like how it all sticks together and you gotta, like, peel it all back just to get it apart. Like, I kind of like that aspect to it also. I don't know. There's so many directions this game could go. But whether it should or not is, you know, really the question. Uh, but I don't know. I can't wait to see what's uh, what's next. Um, I know they're working on uh, um, certain handling characteristics. They're going to change the dirt. So for those of you who are upset about that on my live stream, that is going to change eventually. Um, let's see here. Ah, trunk lid. Um, so yeah, that will be changing uh, here soon. Which it's going to implement both uh, both versions of dirt, so it's going to have the old one and the new one that you've seen on the live stream. I wish there was a way to duplicate this dirt here, but I don't know what that entails, or if you drive a car long enough, it does look like this. I have no clue. All right, trunk is done. The back half of the car is done, minus the uh, oh, I got to get that chrome trim. Where's the chrome trim keep coming? There's so much chrome. We don't need all this chrome. Uh, we're putting the lifted leaf springs on it. Which how much lift it'll give it? I, Apparently not much. <laughs> wow, I was honestly hoping for a little bit more than that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. All right. That's not horrible. That That's respectable. Is the lift even high enough for me to stick these on here? No, it's not. I need to go a little higher, I guess. Okay. Now will it go on? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, this thing is going to be awesome. I don't know why I'm putting the wheels and tires on now, but got to keep it interesting, right? <clears throat> okay, so that is that. How much does that actually tuck up in the fender well? Actually, that's not horrible. That's not horrible at all. If we had a slightly bigger tire and a bigger fender well opening, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Uh, I guess I can... I guess I need to stick the other one on. Ah, there we go. Wow, look at how much that dropped. Holy cow. Okay, so uh, thankfully our transmission is good. We don't need to worry about that here. I'm knocking my stuff over. Um, <clears throat> Stop doing that. Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Wow, it's funny how the control arm just stretches out. That's hilarious. All right, wheels on. Wow. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Wow, this thing sits so high off the ground. Like, compared to that, this thing is a monster. All right, uh, I guess I need to quit screwing around. I need to finish uh, getting this thing together. Um, front fender for this side. Boink. Install you. Um, I thought this one had bolts on the inner fender, but, uh, I think that's just the charger that has, yeah, th that's just the charger that has that. Um, and for the mismatch panels, this car is going to be one solid color. Uh, dirty, but one solid color, and I guess the roof will be just pretty. Because <laughs> that's, like, the only pretty part on the whole car. Okay, um, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for my bumper situation, because I don't want to put the, uh, valence on there, if you know what I mean. Uh, for off-roading purposes. 
Okay, will this go on without the valence? Please. It will. Awesome. Guess what we're not putting on? We're not putting the valence on here. Uh, rear bumper I'll put on. Which, oh, it's already on there. Never mind. Uh, driver's door. What color is that? Is that like white? Yeah, I think that is white. No? Oh, it's dark now. I don't know what changed. Come on, give me the other bolt. Give me the other bolt. Come on. There we go. Okay. That's installed. Well, the body's complete for the most part. Um, I just need to install something else. I'm going to wait till after I paint the car before I put the grill and stuff in. Uh, you know, wouldn't want to paint over anything. Um, engine, engine parts are also painted, so maybe perhaps it is time to go ahead and paint this thing. Um, which unfortunately I'm going to have to push it to, uh, to get over there. Oh yeah. Check this stuff out. No, get back on her. Please, there we go. Okay, uh, I believe all my brake lines are reinstalled. Not that I ever uninstalled the back end. Um, okay. That's a little tweak, so nothing uh, the hammer can't fix. I didn't put it back. Of course I didn't. There it is. <clears throat> How about... Really? Nothing? Okay, I guess we're not going to fix that. We're just going to leave that as it is. Um, I'm going to shove this over into the paint booth real quick. Well, I guess I need to buy it first. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. So this is a mod on uh, Nexus Mods. Uh, go ahead and check it out for yourself. Uh, again, as always, mod at your own risk. Um, you know, um, I've had people come to me with questions like, oh, why am I having this problem? You're going to have to forgive me. I am not tech support. Uh, more likely than not, an, an issue you're having is a mod I don't have, which wound up being the case. Um, I mean, you can you can ask me as much as you want. There actually is help uh, on the My Garage Discord. There's people way more qualified to help you there than me. It's not that I don't want to help. I'm just not. I I don't I don't have the answers to your questions on on some stuff. So fifty six hundred dollars. I don't know if I can afford that, but ah, wow, that was man. Them guys are fast. Man, they really they really installed that thing quick. Buy a paint can. Wash car. You can wash the car for a hundred dollars. Drop paintable parts to change their metallic matte values. Oh, really? Now, really? So, hang on. Can I buy matte paint? No. Whoop. No. So, I guess I need to do this uh, individually. So, if I knew that about the car beforehand, I probably would have dropped all the parts here before. Well, I mean, can I just park the car on the pallet here? Or modify metallic mat. Interesting. So, hang on. So, can I... Wow. Man, this almost needs to be an episode in itself. Tell you what. I am going to dedicate a short episode just to the paint booth itself. But I'm going to get the car over here and uh, and get it painted. Um, we'll just shove this thing. Uh, that's not going to shove. It's too big. Um... I do want to dedicate a whole episode of that now, now that I know we, what we can do with it. Um, because I've never seen anyone use it before. Okay. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that in an upcoming episode. Um, man, I don't... I don't know what to do now. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm definitely going to paint the car, but like, on this truck, like if... It's rusty, but all the paint is shiny. If I could take the parts off and uh, and change their uh, their patina, if you will. As a matter of fact, here, let me yank the hood off and see what that does over there. Since it, I mean, this is easy to get to, so why not? Um, modify. Okay. Well, I dropped it. Did it do something? I can't. I can't tell if it did something. Uh, paint car. I Okay, uh, maybe perhaps I don't know how to use this. Like I said, this is why I wanted to dedicate a whole episode to it. This still looks shiny to me, so I don't... So you can still see the sun in it. I don't know what's... I don't know what's changing here. Uh, modify. Modify. Now this is a paintable part, so I don't know what uh, 
paint car by paint can. Oh, never mind. Nope, stop. Uh, change your matte values. It's still shiny. Maybe this is changing and I'm just not seeing it. Is it changing? Maybe I need to try a smaller part or something, or, you know, I'm just not entirely sure. Uh, maybe a smaller part, perhaps? Or, or are they just talking like an aftermarket paintable part? I've spent way too much time on this part alone already. Um, crap. I want to get it figured out now because I don't want my car to be shiny. I want it to be, uh, wasn't done with you. Okay, come on. I just want to tighten you. Okay. Alright, now I just need to wheel it over there real quick. We're going to give it a nice coat of paint. Like I said, the only reason why I'm doing this now without the engine in it is because I don't want to overspray uh, certain parts that are going on here. Man, I wish I could matte finish the, the whole car, but... I don't understand what it means by uh, um, by matte finish. I don't know how to change it. I wish I did because that would be really awesome. Man, I've always wanted a paint booth in this game. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Don't uh, – just as long as I don't gack anything, we should be, should be all right. No, don't hit. Don't hit. There we go. Uh, unless this paint booth is meant for, like, smaller cars like the Lottas, I don't know. Okay. Is this all the light we have in here? Man, I need to get the spotlight mod for, uh, for in here. Okay, so this should be in. I should be able to paint this as is. Give it a touch forward so I can actually get back here. Okay, let me set the parking brake. It's not the parking brake. Come on, set it. There we go. So now I have the parking brake set. Let me drop this here. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't figure out how to paint the hood. Yuck, it's such an ugly color. Uh, so we're going to change that here real quick. Uh, let's see here. How do I operate this machine? Another wrench? I am really bad about that, guys. Um, ow. Ow. Ow, my legs. Um, paint car. Buy a paint can. Okay, so we're going to go with kind of a blackish color. Okay, drop paintable parts. Do I need to drop the whole... Wow. Whew. Paint can, 100%. Now, can I drop the paint can here? To make it... Okay, well, I guess that's how that works. Oh, wow, it actually tells me what the color is. That's awesome. Uh, current mode, medium. What does this mean? Big. Very small. Small, medium. Okay, so I guess this is my spray pattern. Um, how do I paint car? Oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I think that paints the whole car. Okay, kind of cheaty. I don't want to do that. I do want to do this. So let's see here. Oh, wow. Look at that. I guess that's medium. Come on, wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. Big. Holy cow. That's huge. Uh, very small. Oh, wow. That's too small. <laughs> Um, small, I think right here, I think between small and medium is what this would look like in real life. Wow, this, uh, this really reminds me of, uh, oh, what's that other game? I like a uh, cartoon project because you can uh, use a spray gun like this. Man, I wish we had better light in here. Um, I am going to change to big, uh, just so I can get this thing done. Oh, yeah. Which, uh... If I'm not mistaken, I think this car might might already be this color. Uh, yeah, I'm not hardly changing anything here. <laughs> Man, for the life of me, I really wish I could figure out how to use the uh, the matte finish thing because this is too shiny. It, it looks too nice, you know, kind of thing. Like, the rest of the car looks perfect. Like, that's exactly the look I wanted uh, on this. Let me get rid of that. Which, yep, that's perfect. Yeah, okay. So, I think that's as good as that is going to get paint-wise. Um, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, 
Okay, so that does go there. 72% paint car, which it's 19, 18, 18. So it's, hang on, I think it's 1, 9, 1, 8, 1, 8. You didn't do anything. Okay, so it's 1, 9, 1, 8, 1, 8. You goofy thing. 9, 1, 8, 1, 8. Okay. So I just painted the whole car for a thousand bucks. Should all be the same color now. Alright, not that I changed anything, but let's go ahead and push this thing out in the sunlight and see what it looks like. I really want to figure out what the matte finish thing does. Maybe it doesn't work just yet. You know, maybe that you know, maybe that's the thing. And it's a work in progress kind of thing. But uh I'm not entirely sure. Now I know as I drive this around the car's gonna get dirty and uh, and it'll match up for sure. It's actually kind of slick looking like that, but yeah, I wish the hood was as dirty as the rest. But, oh well. What else can you do? So now I need to finish building the motor. Whoa, way too much sauce. Okay, so yeah, it is, it's engine time. But <clears throat> before we do that, I do need to stick the grill in here. You stick the grill in here. Bingo. Um, so we need to screw this in. Screw this in. Now, I don't necessarily need headlights where I'm going, but... Oh, yeah. Now, if someone could just mod in some cut fenders for this, this would be perfect. Like a nice little cut across here, cut fenders for the back, no rear valence. Man, I am hearing some goofy stuff, man. That's, like, kind of freaking me out a little bit. Um, it is engine time, and uh, I think we're kind of gearing toward the end here. Holy crap, I've been recording for almost an hour and a half. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get this trimmed down to about 45 minutes. No, it's going to be an hour. That's fine. Um, ah, wrench. Here we go. I've lost track of how many different wrenches I have. I'm going to need the pry tool later, so make sure I don't forget where that is. Um, cylinder heads. I do need to figure something out with cylinder heads. We're going to be needing this for later, so I need to save that. We're going to be putting that back on. Intake manifold needs to come off. I guess my cylinder has need to come off. Uh oh, what else did I just? What did I undo? Okay. I don't know what I'm loosening because I can't. I can't see anything. There we go. Okay. I have no idea what I've undone. <clears throat> I'm a little scared to find out. Damn it! I need spark plugs. I hate having to get spark plugs. They're just a pain to work with. I'm not complaining. It just It's one of those little tedious things about a video game. You'd be okay if they didn't put it in there, you know, kind of thing. But again, I'm just I'm trying not, you know, to complain, you know, like I said. Um, this is good. This is a spare. We can save this for later, I guess. Um, let's see here. Timing cover needs to come off because oop, I need a belt. Did not expect that, but here we go. Yep, that needs to come off. Um, let's see here, wrench. All right, yep, timing cover needs to come off because we're gonna be doing some fun stuff in here. Yeah, because we're gonna do the right thing and we're gonna put go fast parts on an engine we know nothing about. Um, where's my other bolt? Is that it? No. Where's my other bolt? Oh, hiding down there. Um, I actually put together one of these motors once and someone else worked on it before me and left that particular bolt out which you can't reinstall without the water pump being in there let me tell you what's not fun that that is not fun what am i what do i keep loosening in here stop that um ah okay so i need to get the camshaft out which i need my pry tool for that now, I really don't cut you guys in on uh, on some of the aftermarket engine stuff that I do. Oh. Oh, you pain in my behind. Come out. There we go. Okay, just drop that on the floor like it's hot. Um, these are aftermarket parts out of the magazine. I have 4-2 lock differentials. Crap, I forgot to do that. Um, I have 1-7 rocker ratios, and I have a race camshaft. Um, so this should give this thing a little bit of pep in its step uh, for what I'm planning on doing with it because we're going to be doing some off-road and stuff. I'm not too, too worried about uh, having or bringing aftermarket parts along with me. Where'd that spark plug come from? 
<clears throat> Never mind. I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, I'm not going to bring too many aftermarket parts with me because if I crash this thing, it's it's going to be bad. <laughs> There's going to be no recovering from it. I, I would I would venture to guess. But I mean, if I can make it three and a half hours in a stock-ish Challenger, I think I can make it with an off-road Challenger. Awfully funny how I've picked two cha two Challengers for the challenge. Ah, I'm here all week. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got big and chrome here. Yeah, we're gonna put you on here for better cooling. Whether this makes a difference or not, I have no clue, but we're going to use it anyway. Um, I need to yank the cylinder heads off, which can I cheat and pull the... Wow. Duct down really low there. I don't need that much. Okay, so I need to... Can I just do it that way? No. Come on, I can't have any fun. All right, well, I'm glad I took this off anyway because this cylinder head is absolutely shot, and I have... One, I have two unhappy pistons in here, which I'm honestly not too worried about. Uh, the the big camshaft will help make up for uh, for that. So, All right, reinstall that. You know, you always want to reuse your head gaskets. You know, especially if they have low miles on them. No, I'm kidding. Do not do that, please. Last thing I need is a angry commenter saying, "Oh, well, this guy on the internet said no. It's it's a video game." <laughs> Never take my advice. Oh, wow. All right, well, I need to load up my pockets. Oh, first, I need to paint my manifolds, which... Um, if you guys have manifolds in the game and you want them to have that nice rust color, I think uh, 6B4F44, this is the color I used on uh, my Vanishing Point Challenger. Please don't run out. I can't tell if that's wind or a jet. Chill out, dude. Um... You have an idea how hard it is to find exhaust manifolds like this for a Dodge Dart? Holy cow. Like to have never found a set for that darn thing. And we still had to custom build an exhaust to make it work. Okay, so I have this, 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 and that. Coolio. Alright, now we need to go back over here, install all of it, minus spark plugs. So... I wonder how far I'm going to get without the, uh, um, without replacing those two pistons. They shouldn't cause too much of a problem. They should behave, uh, f fairly well. Um, I'm just going to be a little down on power. Maybe consume a little bit of oil, but other than that, I'm not overly worried. Where did I put that damn wrench? All right, time to install these. Um, I still need to get spark plugs, which I'm gonna stuff this in the truck and forget about it. I'm gonna be wondering why it won't start. Oh, I need to put oil in it too. Or do I? I didn't pull the pan off. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that out in a minute. <sighs> Alright, so this thing is for the most part together, but I know what all of you guys really came here for. It's for this right here. Now, as one famous person once said, uh, it's putting something way too nice on top of garbage. Um... <laughs> True, uh, so here's a true story, something I've actually done myself. I just had my wrench. Oh, here it is. Um, I really screwed up the engine I was building for, uh, my Camaro. Like, really, really bad. Like, it was unusable, but I still had, like, my cylinder heads and stuff. And, uh, I literally went out, like, on a whim, and I bought a used, or it wasn't used, it was a recently refreshed. It was a demolition derby engine. Um, and I just put all my stuff in it. Like, uh, I put new pistons in it, uh, put my cylinder heads on it, all that fun stuff. And, uh, it was... <laughs> I was like, you know, I can see why the engine is still running, because it's got demolition derby parts inside of it, uh, with the mixed mosh of mine. So, it definitely went in the right car, uh, for the right person, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, definitely the, uh, right person. What is... Oh, that screws for the ignition coil. So, I think we are ready to stuff this in the car. <clears throat> hey, we're almost done here. I'm almost two hours in. Holy cow. Um, let's see here. Where's... All right, we have an invisible dipstick now. Oh, no. I need that. Oh, there it is. And there is oil on it. Good. So, as long as I don't save the game with it out of the car... It should be okay. Okay. Alright. So we're good. Wow. 
That looks way too nice. Wow, that actually looks like a real engine. Like, holy crap. Um, Alright, I need to quit gawking here, and I need to quit setting it over here. Goodness. Alright, uh, I need to stuff this in the car, uh, put my radiator in it, stuff some antifreeze in it, and then we should be ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh, I forgot the thermostat. That's alright, I'll come back for it. Okay, so tighten this. Whoa, wow, that lagged super hard. Um, so all my stuff should be good to go. All of my wires are in the wrong places, but I don't, I don't know how to fix that. So it's just gonna have to, it's just gonna have to do for now. Uh, maybe if I save the game and come back, it'll, it'll straighten its stuff out. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Um, okay, so I have all my springs on here. Um, I have oil in it. I'm going to double check it before I start it. Here's... That's a radiator. Where's... Ah, here's a radiator. Ready to rock and roll. It just has a bad hose on it that I'm not worried about. Um, not like I'm... Well, I am going on a road trip, but... Like I said, not too crazy worried about it. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this thing... It's got a drupal of antifreeze in it, but... Or coolant, I should say. Um, oh, almost got me again. This dreaded fuel line. And that's no one's fault but my own. I just keep forgetting it. Alright, let's reinstall you while we're at it. Uh, let's see here. Bingo! Okay, good. I... Um, excuse me, I need to... Oh, I forgot to tighten the motor mounts. Oh, uh, of course. Oh, I got that side. Oh, wow. Okay, um, let's see. So, I need... Oh, the radiator is in. I just need to put coolant in it. We have oil. Brake fluid's good. Front brakes are brand new. At least I think they are. Um, yeah, I just need... Let me... F I have coolant around... Ah, here we go. Two brand new jugs. Perfect. All right, so... I'll bring you guys back when I'm about to fire this thing. All right, now, before any of you ask, I didn't forget I actually did put gas in this. So, let's go ahead and let her rip. Let me see if there's oil in it. Got to make sure there's oil in this thing. I have been bitten so many times by that. And it's in my face, but yes, there is oil in this thing. I don't know what changed about that. All right, so good. We have gas, we have oil, we have coolant. I think we are ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and open the door here. Whoop. Hey, holy cow. That is super loud. I forgot to install something. Of course I did. I always forget to install one thing. So we have uh, straight pipes with dumps that we're going to go ahead and install here. I don't know if it's going to make it any quieter, but it should help. Ah, here we go. Alright, so it is a little quieter. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I forgot something. I can't steer. <laughs> oh no, okay, I need to put that on. See, I knew this went too smoothly. Alright, so, time for our maiden voyage here. And the off-road challenger. Kind of feels kind of cool saying that, you know? Uh, I don't understand why that doesn't work, but... Oh well, that's fine. Do I need the gate cluster in here for that to work, or what? Okay. Oh man, I didn't even put the... Hang on, what gears are in this? Oh no, 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 stop, 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 okay. That's fine. Hang on, what gears do I have in here? It's got three eights, not locked. And this thing already just wants to... Just wants to rip itself apart. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this too. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. For an open rear end, this thing has some power. Well, let's check out what I built it for. Oh, wow. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. I like it. Alright, I have to put this thing in the thumbnail now. Because 
Just look at how awesome it is. Oh my god. This thing might be too powerful. Oh wow. Really powerful. Holy crap. <clears throat> well, I should make good time getting over to the uh, the other island. Oh, don't hit the fence. Don't hit the fence. Don't hit anything. Wow. Oh, wow. This automatic transmission does not know what to do with itself. Oh, wow. Alright, let's see if we can tra traverse this here. Uh-oh. I didn't just fry my engine block, did I? Nope. Perhaps I stall it or ran out of gas. Oh. Yep, I'm out of gas. Well. I think it's as good as a place as any, but... Well, what a ride. I kind of dig the two-tone look, but... Tell you what, thanks everyone for watching, and thank you for being here for my channel. And uh, just kind of the evolution I've gone through as a YouTuber. Um, although not the greatest one. the Probably the most laggiest and the goofiest one. Well, maybe not the goofiest one, but... I wouldn't have anyone else in the world to share this with if it wasn't for the YouTube channel. And, and it's all to you guys. So, like always, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. You're interrupting me, car. Um... Definitely stay tuned for more awesome stuff on this channel. Uh, you're going to love what I'm going to do with the F100, and I'll uh, tell you guys about that on the next episode of My Garage. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.